All right, we are working with a second order linear differential equation, and that is a y double prime plus 9y equals 2 cosine x. Now, if we look at the right hand side, 2 cosine x, this is a good clue for us that uh, undetermined coefficient method will be helpful. When we have some kind of polynomial, e to the power of whatever uh, sinusoid, like sine cosine, then we are able to use the undetermined coefficient method. Okay, but first let's find our homogeneous solution. y double prime plus 9y equals to 0. Our character characteristic equation r squared plus 9 equals 0 and our roots from here will be plus minus 3i. Now we know that we have three uh, scenarios when we are working with these right we have a uh, first solution when we have real roots but they are both distinct we have real roots the second one where we have real roots but they are uh, both the same or the third when we are dealing with complex numbers so this is that one when we have complex roots plus minus 3i for the complex situation here it is well, alpha plus beta i that's my representative of the complex number real part imaginary part we know that in this case we our homogeneous solution will be in this form right here and all we have to do is plug our alpha in right here and beta here and here so let's do that that's what we can see here e to the zero t since zero is my real part and c1 cosine 3t plus uh, c2 sine 3t the 3 because from here okay simplify it and there's a better version of it here okay let's go ahead and find our particular solution now so for most uh, most most textbooks will have some kind of table somewhere they where they sum up the options that you can use for the undetermined coefficient method well here you can see that if you have a polynomial this is what you have to guess if you have a polynomial and exponential you guess this if you have polynomial exponential and sinusoid then they'll give you this to guess for the right hand side okay we'll look it up in your textbook probably you can see it more clear clearly than here so here i'm working with a sinusoid right two cosine x so that's the part that i'm gonna have to write up i'm gonna guess this right here and the polynomial and the exponential part will be simply on the power of zero so they don't because they don't exist here they will be simply one so my guess for this will be the particular solution will be a cosine t plus b sine t and the undetermined coefficient method is because we have a and b these are our two undetermined coefficients now for the next step we're gonna have to plug back into our uh, ODE but for that we're gonna need to find our y double prime so let's do that yp this is what we guessed we're gonna take a derivative and another derivative and now we have our uh, y double prime now let's come back here and plug everything in y double prime will be replaced by this right here plus 9y instead of the y we're gonna put this right here and on the right hand side 2 cosine x that doesn't change anything 2 cosine x or t yeah sorry i have no idea why i switched everything to t when there was an x here so let's pretend there was, this was another t this is another t okay cosine t so everything is consistent so okay now that we clear that up uh let's continue where were we so we had this one right so we're gonna collect the like terms we have cosine and cosine we have sine and sine on the right hand side we're not doing anything just leave it as is so i'm from this term and this term i'm gonna factor out the cosine t right here and the coefficients will be left behind so 9a minus a from the two signs i'm gonna factor out the sine t and the two coefficients will be left behind 9b minus b 
Okay, the right hand side as is. At this point, we all we're gonna do is simply compare what we have on the left hand side to what we have on the right hand side. Now, let's do the cosine first. We have cosine t here, cosine t here. So, it's coefficient we're gonna put equal to each other. So, the coefficient of cosine t on this side, 9a minus a. Coefficient of cosine t on this side, 2. So, put them equal to each other. Now, sine on this side has a coefficient of 9b minus b, right here. And on this side, we have a sine 2, but its coefficient is a 0, right? That's why it's gone, disappeared. So, equal to 0, right here. Now, from these two, we can go ahead and find our a and b. a is 1 fourth, b is 0. Here it is, our particular solution. We're going to take these two, plug it back into our y, yp, the one that we guessed, right? And we're going to get 1 fourth cosine t plus 0 times sine t. So, there it is. Now, let's write up our final solution, which is y equals yh plus yp. Okay, and here we have it. Our yh, what we have found, c1 cosine 3t plus c2 sine 3t plus our yp, which is this part from here. 1 fourth cosine t. Now this was our answer, right? That's it, problem over. But I just want to take another step and let's see what happens if this was uh, involved, so to say, in an IVP, initial value problem. So if we had y naught equals 0 given and y prime 0 equals 1 given. So these two would be given as an IVP. Now from here, to continue, we're going to take this one first, and we're going to plug it into our solution, what we have found. So, everywhere where we see a t, we're going to plug in this 0, that's what you see here, and equal to 0, just like they gave it to us right here. This 0 is this one, okay? We're going to simplify, and from this we can see that we can, we are able to find C1 being equal to negative one fourth. Now, to use this part, we're going to have to take a derivative of this guy. So, that's what you see right here. The derivative of our solution is right here. Just in case you can't see it, let me read it. Minus 3 C1 sine 3t plus 3 times C2 cosine 3t minus 1 fourth sine t. Plug in what they gave us here, 0 instead of all the t's, and it is equal to 1. And this will help us find that c2 is equal to 1 third. Now all that it is left is update our solution. So our final solution for the problem is right here yt equals minus one-fourth cosine 3t plus one-third sine 3t plus one-fourth cosine t. All right, there you have it. And that would be the final solution of the problem. Please subscribe and like the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.